We will work to secure an emergency use authorization, which should be coming down extremely soon. And my administration will then coordinate the distribution of the vaccine, and uh, it will be approved. I think, again, it will be approved very, very quickly, we hope. The average development timeline for the vaccine, including clinical tests and manufacturing, can take 8 to 12 years. Through Operation Warp Speed, we're doing it in less than one year. Millions of doses will soon be going out the door. They're all ready, waiting for that final approval. As soon as April, the vaccine will be available to the entire general population, with the exception of places like New York State, where, for political reasons, the governor uh, decided to say, and, you know, I don't think it's good politically. I think it's very bad from a health standpoint. But uh, he wants to take his time with the vaccine. He doesn't trust where the vaccine's coming from. These are coming from the greatest uh, companies anywhere in the world, greatest labs in the world. But he doesn't trust the fact that it's this White House, this administration. So we won't be delivering it to New York until we have authorization to do so. And that pains me to say that. This is a very successful, amazing vaccine at 90 percent and more. But uh, so the governor, Governor Cuomo, will have to let us know when he's ready for it. Otherwise, we, we, can't, we can't be delivering it to a state that won't be giving it to its people immediately. And I know many, I know the people of New York very well. I know they want it. So the governor will let us know when he's ready. He's had some very bad uh, editorials recently about this, this statement and what's happened with respect to nursing homes and his handling of nursing homes. And I hope he doesn't handle this as badly as he's handled the nursing homes.